Well, hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about my budget for 2017. I wanted to kind of explain what I am gonna be using for this year to track all my budget needs. I previously talked about this in an Erin Condren haul, but I didn't really label it that it was like a budgeting video because I just hauled this and kind of showed you guys. So I'm gonna show you how I am going to set this up for the year. So let's move right along. So this is an Erin Condren Deluxe Notebook. I got the silver coil and then I customized a cover. This is just the dot cover and then I did a lighter green and a darker green and then I just put budget 2017. You know, I'm pretty basic. You could put like your family name if you wanna use it for a budget or whatever. You can totally customize it to whatever you want. So when you open up the first page, it just says 2017 monthly planner. Um, I haven't used this for anything yet. I might start tracking some stuff in this. I'm not sure. Um, but this is just how I'm like gonna set it up for right now. So here's the beginning of January. There's a dot grid page, the quote page, and then the monthly view. So let me show you what I'm gonna use for my monthly view. I actually made a custom order with Coffee Break Planner. I'm pretty sure she might have these up in her shop at some point once I start posting these videos, but we'll see. I'm not 100% sure. Oh, and before I get going on the custom order, just to let you know, this book did not come with tabs, which was like my only complaint that it didn't come with these little tabbies. So what I did is I actually went to Michael's and bought these and then hand wrote the months that I needed. I actually had a couple of left, couple left over. This um, I bought because I'm weird, you know, whatever. Um, so yeah, but let me show you what I am going to be using for my month view page. And then we'll get into like my actual uh, budget page and how I'm gonna set that up. So I have a bunch of these little icons. So I have some phones, some houses, a grocery cart, like a little stethoscope, like a little medical. This is a little planner. This is like fuel. I got computer, a fork, knife, and spoon. So it's like eating out. Little like little itty bitty mini piggies. I've got like little doggy heads, little shopping basket, little cars. And so these are like kind of my main categories of like where I spend money. I'm sure I might do some more customized like little mini icons later. So I've got these three pages and I'll explain what this means in a second. Obviously the no spend means that like I can put on like Sunday, January one, I can peel one off and say that I didn't spend anything. So that is the idea is to not spend any money like ever. And um, the green ones are gonna be like my paydays or if I have any incoming money and I'll be able to like the little dollar sign is already prefixed on there in a darker green and they fit perfectly this size. So, which is nice. I'm actually gonna lay one down right now just so we can like look at it together. So I think I wanna put at the top my paydays and then at the bottom I can put in like anything else. So, so yeah, like I have a payday every single Friday. So that's awesome. If it's ever like a no spend, what I can do is I can put my no spend down um, and then peel this back up. The nice thing about Coffee Break Planner stickers is they are matte removable. So, which is great because I can just like dig my nail underneath here and then just lift it up. Super simple, really easy. Whoops, there we go. <laughs> Just gotta hold the sheet down. But yeah, no sticky residue, no nothing. So I'm actually gonna put this right back. So anyway, then the other idea would be that I would put, you know, a little yellow one down at the bottom, which would be like anything outgoing and then whatever it pertained to. So say if it was, you know, auto maintenance for my vehicle, I'd put my little vehicle there and then I would write in how much it was and like a little description of what it was to so say like oil change or what, I don't know, whatever it is. So yeah, that is the idea. And then obviously the no spend would then go in like wherever I wasn't spending any money. So yeah, that's what I actually customized and ordered from Coffee Break Planner. I will leave her link below. Um, I do have a 20% off coupon code for her down below if you guys are interested. I'm actually gonna take this off and then because obviously I know I don't have, hopefully I don't have any like car repairs or anything happening that Friday, but you know, you never know. But we'll just leave that like that. But I know I'm getting paid on Friday, so you know, whatever. But yeah, so that is what I ordered from Coffee Break Planner. And that is how I'm gonna set up my months. So the idea is at 
the end of every month so like when I'm doing February's budget I will show you what I have left for January and then it, the idea is that this would be filled with incoming outgoing and no spends so you guys can kind of see how I you know spent my money within this past within the past month so yeah so that's what I'm gonna do for that over here on the right hand side right now I'm just putting a little sticky note um, these are the sticky notes that I use um, these are just a brand new one that I just purchased recently from Erin Condren they are like the stylized sticky notes so they have like the little teeth on the side so they fit perfectly into here I think what I'm gonna do actually just because I have most of my stuff figured out for 2017. I'm gonna probably snap this into here, but like put it in the front, you know? If I have any other like little things I wanna notate or whatever, I totally can, but anyway, maybe I won't do that, maybe I will, but it's just a nice little thing to have. But on another sheet, like another, one of these um i had a bunch of these ones left over and so i just put the the year and the month and then i just put in kind of like whatever my i would say like sinking funds are right now um i've gotten a lot of questions on my sinking funds i did a video on it last year and the reason i did is because i needed a sinking funds fund um this year because of my housing situation my living situation i'm really just taking those items as they come because I have enough income to do that. Um, I think at some point I still will do a sinking fund video for 2017. I know you, a lot of you guys have been asking me how to do that. Um, it just wouldn't be what I would be using it for, but I could show you like a projected, like if I was in the same situation I was in last year, here's how I would do it, you know? So let me know if you guys are interested in seeing that video, even though it wouldn't be like what I would be personally using. If you just wanna see how I would kind of mock set it up and how I would kind of project it out through the year, you know, let me know. But in 2017, I wanna be 100% authentic with every bill that's going out and every dollar that's coming in. So I just wanna be able to show that a little bit better because I think it's a lot easier than all these like kind of mock uh, budgets that I've been doing. Um, all the outgoing has been correct, but the incoming has not been correct. So that's something I'm a little, I'm still working on, even though I'm like filming this video right now, but whatever. This is my monthly view, and this is kind of gonna be like my holy grail of what I am going to use for tracking spending. As for the next page, over here on the left hand side I'm not sure what I'm going to use this for these are just like little bullet pointed items um, there's five of them but I'm not sure what I'm going to use this for this side is what I would normally use for my monthly budget which I believe is, I'm still going to be using for my monthly budgets so I'll just use it kind of like I had used it before I did have um, a notebook well I still have a notebook I should say like here's my I have it right here here is my Erin Condren notebook that has these pages in it already. So I really liked kind of having a column over to the right and then like doing it, you know, a different way over the left. So yeah, I've been really, really liking that. But I think this page is still gonna be dedicated to my projected budget. And then over here is gonna be like actually what happened, even though it's not in chronological order, that kind of bothers me, but whatever. So actually yesterday in all of the months, I already put in a little sticky note. So if I have something coming up, I can, you know, project out for it. Like for March, it's my nephew's birthday. So obviously I want to be able to factor that into my March budget. So, you know, to like get him a gift or whatever. Like April, I don't have anything. There's a lot of months right now where I don't have anything that I can like think of, but I'm sure there's gonna be things that'll come up that I will end up writing on these little sticky notes. And that's just a note to myself to like in May, factor that in to the budget. Uh, June is usually when my dog goes to the vet for his yearly exam. So um, that's definitely need to, needing to be put into the budget. Um, July, I don't have anything. August, August, I actually have one stupid thing and one like fun thing. Um, I have my car tabs, which is not fun. That's just, ugh, I don't like that. But then I'm also gonna factor in that in this August, uh, the end of the August, early September is when the Minnesota State Fair happens. And so I would increase my food budget or I would have another line item for the State Fair um, just because it's it costs to get in and also like you go there to eat essentially. So, um, and then also, you know, like if I wanna have any extra additional like spending money, um, they always have like really cute products and things like that there. Like it, last year I got myself a t-shirt, that's all I bought, but 
Actually, no, I think my mom bought that for me now that I think about it. But yeah, it's just nice to have a little bit of like extra wiggle room if you can budget out for it. You know, it's all about a budget. A budget is giving yourself permission to spend, you know? So like September, I don't have anything. October, I have my life insurance in October. I pay that annually. And then also I have triple A. So um, like if my car breaks down or I get stuck in a ditch somewhere or I need to jump or something like that, um, I pay triple A once a year. And thankfully I haven't had to use it in a couple of years, but I remember the first year I had it, I had to, I used it actually, I think like three times um, because it was just a really horrible winter. So, um, and as I'm saying that it's actually snowing right now. So yeah. <laughs> um, and then in November, um, I just put in my December Florida flight because I'm sure that I'll be booking that in the month of November. And then also to budget in for holiday gifts. Um, I like to get all of my holiday shopping before Thanksgiving if possible, um, or I just shop online on Amazon or whatever. But I like to not buy anything in the month of December just because I'm gone for quite a while. There's always like additional expenses I feel like in December, even if you don't factor them in. Um, you know, holiday parties, gatherings, little small gifts here and there. But you know, I, I try to keep a little bit tighter and then in December um, I have my Doyle puppy sit because I leave and then I hire somebody to come in and stay with him essentially for the time that I am gone so those are all of my kind of sinking funds if you will that I can think of for right now I'm sure I'm missing a whole bunch but that's why I have these little little nice little tabbies <laughs> to uh, tell me what to do and where to go you know so anyway that is the end of December. So this is the next page, which is forecasting out through 2018. I'm sure I won't be using this until a little bit later. This would actually be really nice to kind of mark out, you know, the sinking funds that actually happened in 2017 for 2018 here. So I can kind of forecast that out when I set up my new one. So yeah, I mean, that's something that I'll probably use more towards the end of the year. Here's just a little cute little watercolor page. And then there's a ton of just blank note pages back here which is really cool. I like that because then I can kind of mock up some stuff. Um, if I end up doing that sinking funds one, I'll probably put it over here. Um, I will also be putting my savings forecast in here. If you guys want to see, well, I don't know. If you guys want to see my projected savings for 2017, let me know in the comments below. Um, I know I never really shared that before because it kind of made me uncomfortable, but I think I might do a video on that if you guys want to see it and then also want to see kind of like how I do it if I'm because I get paid every single week so if I'm doing it every other week if I'm doing it once a week you know how how often I'm adding in and how much I'm adding in and then at the end of the year projectedly here's how much I would have you know not including like uh, gifts, bonuses, you know, any tax rebates, refunds, things like that. So anyway, let me know if you want to see that. And then also in the very, very back, there are these little sticker pages. And I also have, I can't get to it. Here we go. Um, like a little pocket folder, which is nice. So, um, you know, you can you know, put your little stickers that you most use in here, which I will probably just end up leaving in here. And then this one has like a little like lower one over there as well. So you could put like, you know, like that in there, but that's the back cover of the page. And this is how I'm going to be setting up my budget for 2017. Every month I will have a new budget. So January will be coming up very soon if it isn't up already, depending on how I post these. So I, I film a lot in advance, so I film a lot out of order. So I never know what's actually up when it's up. So anyway, but I will link the budget series on my YouTube channel down below if you guys are interested. That whole video playlist only has things to do with money if you're interested in just the finances. Also, there will be a link to the Erin Condren website. If it's your first time ordering, you can use that link, sign up, you'll get a $10 off coupon emailed to you. And then if you decide to use that coupon code, when your item ships, I'll get a $10 off coupon code as well for me to use on future purchases. So you can purchase this. I believe this book was around the $30 mark. It's not too bad considering Erin Condren. And then you got to customize, um, you know, like the front of it and stuff too and you can do whatever you want to you can buy it on like these as well it doesn't matter it doesn't have to be like a book it can be anything you want to off the website which is really nice so there's no like minimum you know what I mean also speaking of links I will link these below if I can find them I know that I found them for somebody just recently um, that had asked on I think it was 
Instagram or something, I can't remember, but if I can find these on the Michaels website or anywhere, I will link them below for you guys. Also, Coffee Break Planner's link will be below too. That's where I got all of those customized stickers from. Um, again, she did those all as a custom order. I'm not sure. I'm sure she'll end up listing those in her shop as soon as I start posting all of these uh, videos, especially if you want to set them up the same way that I have them set up. So that is going to be it for my walkthrough for my budget 2017 and how I am setting it up. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I am so looking forward to doing my budget in 2017. I know that's kind of crazy, but now that I've been doing it for so long, I really, really love the process of budgeting. And I also love the process of tracking because it makes me feel like I'm getting traction even though I'm not necessarily paying off debt, I'm saving, but it makes me understand my habits a little bit better. And I think that that is the main reason why I budget is because I want to understand my habits and know what my triggers are. So I hope you guys will thumbs up this video and subscribe if you want to come along on my financial journey with me for 2017. And that is going to be it for me. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me for a little part of your day. And I will talk to you all in my next video. Bye guys.